All right, I've got this other one from Wusa. Um, as best I can figure out, this one is called the DH-29 Zaftig. The DH, I think, is the name of it. The 29 refers to the atomic number of copper. And Zaftig, I believe, is the style with this thick, thick, um, smooth design that doesn't have any really any design carved into it, just rounded and flat. So I think that's what it's called, as best I can figure out, but it's it's big and it's pretty heavy and it feels really good. It feels like a bi spinner, but it's kind of slippery. It's uh, definitely has a slippery feel to it, but it doesn't stop you from playing with it at all. So this is the one I'm gonna test next and I'm pretty sure it's going to do very well, like most of the Wusa ones do. So I'm going to start testing this one now. Well, to put it mildly, <clears throat> this is an awesome spinner. Um, you've got a basic bi spinner design. It's got these little concavities here that your finger catches, so it spins really easily. It's got a big deep dish button, so even though it's this one's mirror polished, you still get a good grip on it, which you need because it's kind of heavy. It weighs 114 grams. The spin time was really great, 10 minutes and nine seconds average. And for some reason, this one didn't spin more uh, or longer vertically than it did horizontally. It was about the same. So it ended up getting very little penalty for variability. It was pretty consistent, depending, depending on how you hold it, whether it's vertical or horizontal. Of course, you if you've been watching for a while, you know that I do six spins on each spinner, four of them, uh, horizontally and two vertically. So I gave it an appearance score of 8.5 because it looks, I think it looks really cool. The mirror, the mirror polished uh, copper looks great and it's got a good simple minimalist design for a bi spinner but it's, and it's thick and chunky and slippery. The feel I gave it a 9.5. Feels great nothing catches at all there's no no catches on this thing no places to scratch your finger and it just feels really silky perceived quality i gave it a 10 and the reason i gave it a 10 was because i've never seen anything more well balanced in my life this this on the vertical spins i can see if there's any um any uh unbalanced in the spinner there was nothing in this one it was it just came to a smooth stop at an uneven angle and it was just it's, I can't imagine one being more perfectly balanced um, it's got the trademark Wusa it's got the bearing which is uh, super smooth and very quiet it's almost silent this thing it's, it's you really almost can't hear it spinning and it's got the little o-ring retainer in it I'm not gonna peel this one out because they all they're all the same so this thing uh, which I'm I think is called the DH 29 Zaftig is just amazing and I've got the buttons on the wrong way. You got to get the buttons on the right way on this one. So let me do that correctly. I'll just take up a few more seconds of your time for no reason. At least I think I will. There we go. 
this one goes on this side. <clears throat> and this one goes here. And I don't, they're, they're off the, uh, the, these things are sold on Etsy and right now they don't have a DH up there. So I can't tell exactly what they're going for. I think I paid about $60 for this one based on what they've got the other ones up there selling for. It's not that expensive. I mean, it, it's, um, to get something like this for about $60 or $65, you know, compared to the, the last one I reviewed, this, this thing is just a monster compared to the last one I reviewed, which was $100 for something that should be $35 or $40. This thing only costs $60, $65, and it's, it's amazing. 10 minute spin time with my little tiny air compressor that I use. So I'm sure if it had a, yeah, it had a really big air compressor, you can get it to spin quite a bit longer, but I've got a little tiny air compressor, which is just about right for fidget spinners. So this thing, um, I would definitely recommend getting one of these. If you like buy spinners, this one you just can't go wrong with. And the price is right, you know? It's a, a good deal for what they're they're doing here. This is just the highest quality piece you can get. Um, and right now, at this point, after reviewing a number of Wusa spinners, I'm about ready to say that they're about the best company out there. I mean, Damn Designs makes really nice spinners too, but the Wusa spinners are so consistently excellent that I'm about ready to say they're the best company out there. Not 100% convinced of that statement yet, but I'm pretty close to it. So there, there it is, the DH-29 Zaftig.